Good Saturday evening, meteorologist Nick Kelly here. It was a quiet, nice day across the Ozarks, but definitely trended a bit warmer today with highs back in the upper 80s to some lower 90s after we had a nice start this morning back well into the 60s. Satellite and radar, though, kept things pretty quiet throughout the day, not just in our part of the Ozarks, but all across the state of Missouri and the natural state and the southern parts of the Ozarks. However, the uh, setup is looking a little interesting. Not only do we have at the surface this area of high pressure that's now bringing a south breeze back into play as the center of it sits over the uh, Carolinas and the southern Appalachian Mountains, there is a front parked out across the western U.S. This will come into play as we head into Wednesday and Thursday and the latter part of next week, really. But in the upper levels, we do see ourselves back on the warmer side of the jet stream. And you can see the little upper level ridge has been trying to build back in, but underneath it, this upper level wave over the Arklatex is going to dictate our weather for at least the next few days to wrap up the holiday weekend, which does include bumping up our rain chances a little bit. I don't think we need to worry about rain chances for this evening, though, even though Futurecast wants to throw in maybe a few showers for areas east and southeast of West Plains. I really think everybody stays dry through tonight with mostly clear skies. But as that upper level low works closer in from the south, we could see at least some partly cloudy skies for some in the Ozarks, especially east of 65. By the time we get towards sunrise Sunday morning, we'll say partly to mostly sunny skies throughout the day. Then by the afternoon, additional moisture, additional lift could allow for some isolated showers and storms east of Missouri Highway 5 and east of Yellville in northern Arkansas. These won't be too strong and they won't be all day washouts, but just have a plan B inside ready to go if you have outdoor plans. Then we'll quiet things down for Sunday night. Monday morning looks quiet to start Labor Day itself out with partly sunny skies, but then that upper level low still around will kick in scattered shower and thunderstorm chances in the gear uh, Monday afternoon, early Monday evening, and this activity should wind down by about 9, 10, or 11 o'clock Monday night. Then this upper level low will start to move on to the northeast as we head into Tuesday as a lot of us head back to work and school. But as long as it's close enough to us and since we're not really underneath that upper level high, we're going to keep at least a few isolated thunderstorms in the forecast as temperatures stay above normal since we're still on the warmer side of the jet. We'll watch for scattered storm chances again Wednesday and Thursday with upper level energy passing through and that front in the Rockies also hanging around the region Wednesday, Thursday and even going into Friday. But once we get into Saturday, that upper level high is going to try to build in a little bit more, and that front will still be around. So let's say at least a few isolated storms on Saturday, which this projection here is showing quite well. So we'll hold on to that in the forecast. As far as potential rain amounts over the next several days, this isn't just taking Sunday and Monday's rain chances into account. This is all the way through next Saturday. And the amounts could vary depending on how the rain lines up and passes on through. Rain amounts as little as a quarter of an inch on average to maybe an inch and a half on the high end and maybe some localized heavier amounts, maybe pushing three inches. So if you've been clamoring for some rainfall, hopefully we can capitalize on some, if not all of these amounts, and we can spread them out evenly across the Ozarks. So even though with these rain chances in the forecast, it will be a bit more muggier, a little more humid throughout the week, but nothing too outrageous. In fact, I'm seeing the uh, dew points through much of next week, staying mainly in the 60 degree range and stopping just short of 70. So muggy to humid air, but nothing outrageous. Now let's look at temperatures. We'll drop back into the middle upper 60s tonight. 67 in Springfield, 66 in Harrison with quiet skies up top and a south breeze on the light side. Then the south breeze picks up a little bit more, and that will force all of us to go back into the upper 80s to near 90 for your Sunday afternoon. And that's not just for Springfield and Harrison. Everybody will at least start out in the middle to upper 60s, maybe a few spots near 70 by morning. But then we're well into the 80s by noon. And depending on how numerous those isolated rain chances get in the eastern Ozarks, that could keep you in the middle of some upper 80s. But I think a lot of us, again, upper 80s to near 90 for Sunday afternoon. Then going into Labor Day, we'll have the numbers start out in the lower 70s, so a bit of a mild start to the day. And then by early afternoon, a lot of us will be back in the upper 80s to lower 90s. And then as those rain chances get more scattered and more numerous as they pop up, that could drop temperatures down a bit as we could see some maybe heavy pockets of rain do the dropping for us. 
And even with these rain chances in the forecast, we're not talking about a big cool down right away, but we're going to keep the numbers in the lower 90s for highs Tuesday and Wednesday. In fact, I think Wednesday will be the hottest day of the week, and then we'll gravitate back toward the upper 80s for Thursday and Friday, while morning lows stay fairly mild in the lower 70s for Monday morning all the way through Thursday morning. And then once the front on the way clears us into the coming weekend, the upcoming weekend, that should send those back into the upper 60s for Friday and Saturday morning, 89 Friday, and hopefully back into the mid-80s by Saturday.